Good noon, brothers and sisters. Once again, welcome to St. Joseph Church. Our Mass for today is offered to our God by the following Thanksgiving of Sister Beth Destrao and family, Rubenius Asilom and family, Lerma Aguilar, Boronda family, Winda Villamor and family, Shelo Satira and family, Jocelyn Tipo and family, Jocelyn Roxa and Onon, Yusa Pilar and family, Relos Emilita and family, Jinky James Wong and and family, Concepcion Barcena and family, Renalyn Lariego, Vanji Baligod and family, Salvacion Sufida and family, Benita Colliada. And also for the intentions of Lucy Guan, KK and Catherine Wong, Yvonne Choi, William and Maluka Lusa, Bautista family, Rocreo family, Lori Vig Ivanez, Mona and family, Vanji Papilota, Doni. Gloria, for the healing and deliverance of Mario Destrajo, Michelle Tumaneng for the fast recovery, Euphemia El Roque, Julius Franco Padilla, and Lady V. Palomo. Also, we pray for the birthday of Serfina Roque, today's birthday, Flori Ambrosio, Lawrence, Anthony Roque, Cheryl Padilla, and Hel Helen Lariego, and Nick Wright. And also for the fast recovery, healing and fast recovery of Samuel Makarat, Raseli Ferran, for the fast recovery of Terra Acosta, Emil Amelia Esteban. We also pray for the souls of Benjamin Nino Jr. and Yong Yuk Hyun. For the souls of Topilo Blanco, Praxedes, Padilla Go, Bonifacio Go, Marcos M. Antonio, Felisa Espiritu Raga, Renato Multico, Ernesto Multico, Amojico, Ajit C. Rick, Rinaldo Roque, Melchor Garcia, Capito Lorenzo, Victoria Lorenzo, Neri Roque, June Benny Ramos Jr., Sahan Kumar Tamang, Andres Sencida, Edmundo de la Raga, Meride Roquero, Benedicto Baligod, Laurentia Baligod, Renato Baligod, Vicente Baligod, Aurora Salvino Colviada, Gregoria Siberdiaga, Lourdes Siberdiaga, Nelson Subida, Renato Pama Sr., Octuso Ricaforte, Pedro Ricaforte Sr., Alfredo Pamad, Jose Banyas Sr., Merli Garcia, Rosita Rico, Amancio Raymond, Victor. Victoria and Dionisio Destrajo, Vilma Bas Basuel, Luisa Lamberto, Christine Julian, Raimundo Natividad, and Lucena, Ninita Dumago, Antonio e. Monaga, Felipe Monaga, Geralda Bayhonan, Joari Sulito, Epifanio Asilom, Dominador Bayhonan, Agustin Ruado, Encarnacion Ruado, Jocelyn Miones, David Tuman, Tumaneng, Edgar Tumaneng, Emilia and Edwin Baronda, Pedro and Filipe Montoya, Riquito Ulpindo, Jose Villamor, Angelita Villamor, Vicente Andales, Rostica Ebajo, Carmelita, And Carmelita Andales, Ponciano Relois, Luis Andales, Severo Soco, Gonzol Gonzalo Andales, Rosal Rosalio Andales, and Saldi Orlanda. My dear brothers and sisters, today is Wednesday, 29th week in Ordinary Time. The Gospel passage today speaks about waiting and being ready. Let us reflect upon the importance of being vigilant and attentive to God's presence in our lives. 
If we can build the habit of attentiveness to His continual comings, then we will truly be prepared for the final coming. How do we find ourselves preparing for the coming of the Son of Man? This year we celebrate the year of St. Joseph, patron of Universal Church. Let us pray all together. Oh, St. Joseph, faithful followers of Jesus Christ, to you do I raise my heart and hands to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining the kind heart of Jesus. All the help and the graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special favor I now implore. O glorious Saint Joseph, through the love that you did bear for Jesus Christ and for the glory of his holy name, join to hear my prayer and obtain for me my petition. O Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, come to my assistance. Amen. We also pray for the birthday of Troy Jaden, Lot Abad, Bert Padasas, and for the healing of Elizabeth Wong and for the soul of Jose Banya Sr. Let us glorify the Holy Triad God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In today's gospel, the Lord reminds us to prepare always for His coming. As we receive our baptism, we become children of God. As children of God, then we have our duty also to be watchful, no? to prepare for the coming of Jesus. And we have also that duty to build the kingdom of God here on earth. So as baptized... Our life is a life of preparation no? because we prepare because this world is not our permanent home. As baptized, we have a home that is eternal in the kingdom of God. For us to be worthy in this Eucharistic celebration, we now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to, and to you, you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us all be seated and listen attentively to the Word of God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, sin must not reign over your mortal bodies so that you obey their desires and do not present the parts of your bodies to sin as weapons for wickedness, but present yourselves to God as raised from the dead to life and the parts of your bodies to God as weapons for righteousness. For sin is not to have any power over you, since you are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? Of course not. Do you not know that if you present yourselves to someone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one you obey? either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness. But thanks be to God that although you were once slaves of sin, you have become obedient from the heart to the pattern of teaching to which you were entrusted. Freed from sin, you have become slaves of righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Had not the Lord been with us, let Israel say, Had not the Lord been with us, when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive, when their fury was inflamed against us, our help is in the name of the Lord. Then will the waters have overwhelmed us. The torrent will have swept over us. Over us, then will have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord, who did not leave us a prey to their teeth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Our help is in the name of the Lord. We were rescued like a bird from the polar snare. Broken was the snare, and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our name is in the help of the Lord. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. For you do not know when the Son of Man will come.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared. For at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time? Blessed is, blessed is that servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants to eat and drink and get drunk, then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish the servant severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. That servant who knew his master's will but did not make preparations nor act in accord with his will shall be beaten severely. But the servant who was ignorant of his master's will but acted in a way deserving of deserving of a severe beating shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel today reminds us that as baptized, we, our duty is always to prepare for the coming of the Lord. Meaning, as baptized, we become servants of the Lord. And Jesus, our master, and we are his servants. If Jesus, our master, then we have to serve the Lord. 24-7, our duty on the Lord is not only during Wednesdays, during our day off, no? but every day, we have our obligation, our duty to our master. No? So serving the Lord, there is no day off. No? Our serving our employer, we have day off. No? But our master, there is no Jesus, our master, no day off. No? Our day off will be in the kingdom of God. No? So here our duty is to always follow the, the master. That's why... In the first part of the mass, uh, gospel, Jesus said to his disciples, Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken in two. So, you must also be prepared. For, you, for at an hour, you do not expect the Son of Man will come. So, here, Jesus is reminding us because we do not know when the Lord will come, then our duty is always to prepare. We should not, maybe the Lord will come tomorrow. Uh, you prepare today. But we, because we do not know. Meaning every day, our life, every day is a preparation. We prepare for the coming of the Lord. That as Christian, our action must reflect that of the kingdom of God. That there should be conversion, a new person. Because when we receive baptism, we become children of God. That's why our baptism that is our first death. No? We die of our old self. We become a new uh, creation. Uh, God, we become spiritual person. Our first birth from the flesh from our parents no? that is temporal, physical. Second birth, our baptism that is eternal, spiritual. No? That's why we take care of our spiritual life how to take care of our spiritual life that that is everyday preparation 
that we do our duty. No, that's we pray. No, we have to uh, <clears throat> encounter Jesus by reading the Word of God. No, that's why uh, Christian life is a life of preparation for the fullness of life. No, because here this word uh, we are temporary. There is a fullness of life. The fullness of life meaning to be with our Master. Okay, so, and the second part here, Jesus is reminding us of our duty as Christian, of our vocation, that we are entrusted no, to take care of our life and to take care of others. No? Here, that Peter, uh, here in the second part, that those who are then, who then is the faithful and prudent steward, whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time. So we have our duty. No? We have First, we have to take care of our life because our life belongs to God. We do not own our life, but our life belongs to God. So we take care of our life. As we take care of our life, then we have to take care also of those entrusted to us, no? your family, your children, no? or your friends. God entrusted them to you, that you have your duty, your obligation to take care of them spiritually, bring them closer to the Lord. Okay? So, we do not only take care of ourselves, but we have also to take care of those people entrusted by God to us. No? That's why even your friends, not only our family, Yung, your friends, yung kaibigan nyo dito sa Hong Kong. It is not only just an accidental, but it becomes mission. You have a mission to take care of your friends. No? No? To bring them closer to the Lord. Okay? So, here, the, the gospel also reminds us no, that of our duty as Christian. That we are, remember, we are slaves. So, is our master? Jesus, our master. But the problem here in the gospel, they said, my master is delayed in coming. Matagalan pa siya. Kasi may quarantine, 20, 21 days. Matagalan pa yun. Okay? My master is delayed in coming. And now, he begins to beat the men servant, the maid servant. No? He eat and drink and get drunk. Meaning, he is a slave, but he wants now to become the master. Okay? And he wants to become the master. He try to he try to not to be to serve with his fellow servants okay? he wants to become master and that's why he started to be the servant he did not do his duty okay? so the if you remember also the first sin of adam and eve no they want to become like god remember the serpent said no if you eat that uh, uh, fruit of the middle of the tree you will become like God. You will become the master. And so they want to become like God. They don't want to become subject with God. They become the master. And because of that pride, they disobey the command of Yahweh, the command of God. Okay? So the point here, we are all servants. No? We should not lord uh, over our brothers and sisters. Our only master is the Lord. That as our journey, we ask also the grace, no? the, the grace of God, the grace of loyalty, fidelity to the, to the vocation or to the uh, family God entrusted to us. No? That is servanthood. No? So in this Mass, we ask no? God's grace. No? In our baptism, we become children of God and we are servants of the Lord. Jesus, our Master, We are one body of Christ. He is our head. And the head, if we follow, listen to the head, the body will not be lost. No? Because he is the head. The one who is thinking, the head. Okay? The body will not think. The body just follow the head. But sometimes we want to be master. We want to become, we want to be head. No? We no longer follow Jesus. No? And so, in this Eucharistic celebration, we ask the grace of God. No? We do not know when the Lord will come. Do you know when the Lord will come? Mm. Unless the Lord will 
at send a message, I'm coming. <laughs> no, we do not know. And because we do not know, therefore, as Christian, our life as Christian in this world is a life of preparation. So that when the Lord will come, we are always ready. That's why Christian always ready for the coming of our Savior. Because we pray, your kingdom come here on earth. No? We pray for that. And we pray, then every time we pray, the Lord's Prayer is also a reminder for us because you ask for it, you pray for it. Therefore, we have to be ready for it. No? Amen. In God the Father, as we present Him before the needs and concerns of our lives, and let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the Holy Catholic Church that she may always show compassion and mercy to all people. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for government leaders and workers that they may be honest in their work and that they may always be ready to give an account for, of their work not only before the people, but before God, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all teachers, that they may have the patience to guide and teach the students. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for OFWs and migrants, that they may be protected of their rights as human beings. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all prisoners, that they may not lose hope in their situations, and that one day they will be reunited with, our, with their loved ones. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray to respect of cultures, that people may learn to appreciate the, the uniqueness and beauty of each culture, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Universal Church and the people of God in the Diocese of Hong Kong, that the celebration of this synod may help us to discern God's will, to boldly carry it out. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we pray for our personal intention. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, in your wisdom, you know the hour and the day. Do not let our cares close our hearts for your coming. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated and prepare ourselves for the offertory.
pray, mother, brothers, and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and, and just. just. It is only right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in faith. His resurrection we confess with living faith and is coming in glory, we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given the for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Cardinal John Tong, our Apostolic Administrator, Stephen, our Bishop-elect, all bishops, clergy, religious, and all missionaries. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, San Lorenzo Ruiz and Pedro Calungsod, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. one people of God, let us unite our minds, our hearts as we pray the Lord's Prayer. who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. As one people of God, let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. 
Peace be with you all, sisters and brothers, a Zoom. Amen. Jesus. This is Jesus Christ. He is our peace, our strength, and our salvation. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called in this sacred meal. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear Him, who hope in His merciful love to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine.
let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the prayer for deliverance from the pandemic. O God, you are the source of all goodness. We come to you to invoke your mercy. You have created the universe with harmony and beauty. Yet through our pride, we have disrupted the course of nature and brought about the ecological crisis which affects our health and the well-being of the human family. For this, we ask for your forgiveness. O God, look with pity on our plight. For we are in the midst of a new viral pandemic. May we experience again your fatherly care, restore order and harmony to nature, and recreate a new mind and heart in us that we may look after our earth like a faithful steward. O God, we entrust to you all the sick and their families. May you be healing to their body, mind, and spirit, enabling them to partake of the Paschal mystery of your Son. Help, Help all members of our society to play their proper roles and strengthen the spirit of solidarity among them. Sustain our frontline medical and healthcare workers, social workers, and educators. Come especially to the aid of those in need of resources to safeguard their health. We believe that it is you who direct the course of human history and that your love can change our destiny for the better, whatever might be our human condition. Grant us steadfast faith to all Christians, that even in the midst of fears and chaos, they may carry out the mission you have entrusted to them. O God, bless our human family abundantly, and dispel from us all evil. Deliver us from the pandemic that is afflicting us, so that we may praise and thank you with renewed hearts. For you are the author of life, and with your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in unity in the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the Holy Souls. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those in my own home and in my family. Amen. Announcement in behalf of El Shaddai community, you're all invited to attend the prayer meeting right after this Mass. Thank you. And we thank Father Jay for saying the Mass for us today. Thank you, Father. And would like to introduce uh, our pastoral worker, uh, Sister Wu, uh, Wu Saoloi. Uh, we will be working with the uh, St. Joseph Welcome, community. Yeah. This is the Thursday group, Sister. Uh, Thursday, uh, Wednesday group. <laughs> Advance. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down your heads for God's blessing. Look with favor on your family, O Lord, and bestow your endless mercy on those who seek it. And just as without your mercy, they can do nothing truly worthy of you. So through it, may they merit to obey your saving commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God be upon you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go and prepare for the coming of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Sing it together, church. Glory to the Father, sing glory to the Son. Glory to the Spirit, glory, glory.
to the Father. Glory to the Father, sing glory to the Son. Glory to the Spirit, glory, glory, everyone. Glory on the earth, it made it. Glory above all, glory, glory, everybody. We have seen our Father. You are my strength, O oh Lord. To the Father, glory to the Father, sing glory to the Son, glory to the Spirit, glory, glory, everyone, glory on the earth, it made it, glory up above, glory, glory, everybody, we have seen our Father's star, glory, glory, everybody, we have seen our Father's star. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Purihin ng Diyos.